welcome to the next instalment of how to write LGBT characters and why you should anyway if you want to check out the other videos in the playlist. There is a playlist! That's a bad way of phrasing that! <laughs> you don't need to watch any of those to fully understand this video but it is good supplementary knowledge especially the non sort of character study type ones. The only thing I'm going to go over again is that you should definitely should read things by and about characters who have the identity that you're trying to write. In this case bisexual, pansexual and polysexual characters. As always, the best way to write a bi, pan or polysexual character is to have them come out within the narrative, along with supporting hints and statements. This video is talking about the supportive hints and statements that you can add to make it really clear to the audience that you didn't just throw in an I'm bi because you felt like you needed more diversity. But the character actually is, in fact, bi pan or polysexual. For ease, I'm not going to keep saying bi, pan, polysexual, I'm just going to use bisexual. Why am I using bisexual rather than the others? Well, because I'm bi. <laughs> All of these hints would work for a pansexual or a polysexual character or anyone else who is attracted to multiple genders. If your character is open to a relationship, be they single or in a polyamorous relationship, note it's not bad to have a character who is bisexual, who is also polyamorous, but try not to make them come across as unfaithful because that's a negative stereotype that bi people have to deal with in real life and it's used as an excuse for a lot of biphobia. We're trying to fix that. One of the best ways to make sure that it's very obvious that this bi person who is polyamorous is not a slut is to have a straight person also be polyamorous within the narrative. But if your character is open to a relationship, they can take note or comment on a couple of other people's attractiveness, whether that be their appearance or their personality traits or whatever else you think is something that would attract people. <laughs> I mean, try not to make them super slutty because again, as I said, negative stereotypes. And let's be honest, if you're monogamous, usually you don't really talk about other people's attractiveness. <laughs> you're not gonna be there like, oh, I love my wife, but that dude, super hot. Like, that's not a thing, is it? If your character has exes, you can bring them up in conversation or various moments with relevance to the situation at hand. For example, my ex-boyfriend had the same issue. Of course, he had the cash available to hire exterminators, so... Oh, if my ex-girlfriend and I hadn't ended on such bad terms, I could have called her. She was a dragon wrangler. I don't want to go there. My ex works there. You know, you know them. The one with the blue hair. Bonus points if they are dating someone of a different gender to the ex that they mentioned. You can have someone suggest that the bi character take one for the team and flirt their way into whatever supposed solution. To get a key, distract a guard, whatever and have the bi character joke that gender might not be a problem, but I still have standards. Or even have them be really, really bad at flirting. I'm bad at flirting. That's a fact. <laughs> Your bi character can wish for a romantic partner. Man, woman, other. I don't care. I just want someone to be with. I see what you have with your partner and I just, I want that. It should be easier when gender's not an obstacle but it just makes it so much harder. Note again that bisexuality is inclusive of non-binary genders. Don't let people tell you it's not. I would be fairly hypocritical <laughs> if it was not. <laughs> you can have your bisexual character make jokes about choices. One of my personal favorites is, you want me to pick a binary option? I can't even pick a gender. Part of the reason I love that one is that I am also non-binary, so it works on two levels. Which is also a bi and non-binary joke. <laughs> you can have your bi character wear pride pins or wristbands or t-shirts. And of course, coming out doesn't have to mean, hi, I'm bisexual. It can be a question from another character or in reference to previous or potential partners. Oh, I didn't know you were into women. Don't really have much of a preference. Bye. I like all genders. The best way for your character to be obviously bisexual is to have them say what their identity is. 
So if you're writing a polysexual or a pansexual character, they shouldn't say I'm bisexual because they're not. <laughs> they're polysexual or pansexual or whatever else. So there you have it. Those are my top tips for writing bi, pan or polysexual characters. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing for the last part in the series and my other glorious tips and tricks for writing and living life LGBT. You can also check out the rest of the playlist, uh, which I again will link everywhere. What is this? A helicopter! And if you'd like to stay up to date with my life, my work and my bunnies, you can follow me on social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as No Poodles. And if you'd like to support what I do, you, there is a link to my coffee account in the description below.